I have sleep apnea. That's the only reason I had that mask on. I, I, I look completely ridiculous. It's like an overweight bear thing. It's a nightmare at airports trying to check it. It's like, oh my God. You are fucking gorgeous. Thank you. You are too. So, was last night incredible or what? Oh yeah, yeah. It was. It was amazing. It was. It was. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. What was your name again? somebody and you just know it happened to me last night his name is Todd he's a bartender at the Eagle I can't believe we've never met him before did you get his number no which is why we're going back to the Eagle tonight for me right okay. <laughs> guys there's a guy in my bed and I think we had sex I don't remember Ooh, is it that creepy performance artist guy with the horrible comb over in that orange tan you two would be totally perfect together true actually Reggie the guy is amazingly hot He's unbelievable. Oh my God, I'm so hungover. I've got dry mouth. Here, have some juice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's a screwdriver. Yeah, and? And it's eight in the morning, drunkie. Anyway, his name's Todd, and he's a bartender at the Eagle. Imagine that! Two guys named Todd who are both bartenders at the Eagle. No way, no way that you, this, had sex with hot Toddy from the Eagle. I don't even remember meeting him. I just, I don't know. Last night was, it's kind of a blur. I, I know I had a lot to drink, but I remember I was in a really good mood and just happy that everybody showed up to my party. To hell with all of you people. Yeah. Oh. This party is going to be Party's over. Oh my god. Wait, wait a minute. Oh my god. That's that's my roommate. I think he's dead. really dead. Oh, hmm. It's okay. Where are you going? To call 911. Are you insane? If word gets out that we have a dead guy in this house, no one's ever going to come over here and have sex with us ever again. Not from Scruff or Growler or Craigslist. Craigslist? Really? You still use that? That's your big worry right now? We've got a dead guy in our bathtub and you're worried about getting laid on gay hookup sites? My friend Chip bought Sharon Tate's house in 1972, hasn't been laid since. What 
kind of person dies at somebody's birthday party? I mean, that's really kind of rude, right? This is surreal. I can't believe he's actually fucking dead in there. Oh, come here, babe. I am dead. so, so sorry. <sighs> <clears throat> Would you please stop doing that? So his name was Jacob? Uh, no, it was, um, it was Jim. Well, but you called him Jacob. What? Uh, no, not Jacob, like the name, like, uh, J-Cub, and then J-Lo. So he was gay. Way to crack the case, Sherlock Homo. Well, did he come with you? I didn't even know he was here. I don't remember him at all. I just can't get over the fact that I ended up with the looks and the talent and a non-contractual recurring role on Joey and Melissa. Excuse me, but I'm a huge fan. You know me from TV? No, I just think you're really hot. That's cool. Who the hell is that guy? I, I... If he was here, I sure didn't see him. What about you, Reggie? So I figured if it works for Jennifer Hudson, why wouldn't the program work for me? It's amazing today, I'm cooking up curry soup for lunch because I saved us five points for this time. You know, I've been standing here the last 20 minutes listening to you, not understanding one word you're saying because you are just so damn cute. Ooh, but so is he, I bet he talks normal. Well, I certainly don't remember him. Um, can I make out with you? There's this really creepy guy that's been following me around all night, and I want him to think I have a boyfriend, and there he is. Is it cool? Nope, never saw him. I'm calling the police. I mean, the longer we wait, the more suspicious it looks. All right, you know what? This is really starting to freak me out. I don't think I can handle this anymore. Come here. I'll talk to you later. I gotta get out of here. I have some stuff to do today. I have some handle from here, okay? Uh, but, 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 uh, I should probably get going anyway and let you guys clean this whole fucking mess up. Nelson, you got a hot ass, by the way. I'll talk to you uh, later. P Pumpkin, they, they, they might want to question you. Yeah, call me! God, he's hot. 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 It's decided he's hot, right? He's hot. Well, that's kind of weird. Why would he want to talk to the police? Because he's very busy. He's a bartender at the Eagle. He's got huge responsibilities. He has to slice limes and order beer and stuff. This cannot be happening. We have a dead body in our bathtub, a police forensics team combing our house for evidence, and I finally meet a quality guy, and he leaves before I can get his number. <laughs> can this day get any worse? I'm Detective Chad Winters. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Things aren't that bad. <laughs> Look on the bright side. We have a hot detective. Looks like he died of natural causes. Maybe a heart attack. Heart attack? But he was so young. I mean, he and I are, were practically the same age. Uh, didn't we just celebrate your 40th birthday for the fifth time last night, Wood? So you guys found him this morning? Uh, well, Reggie did. <laughs> well, it's hard to miss him. I mean, he had, you know, morning Wood. <laughs> Good morning. He's not talking to you, doofus. So that's when you three called the police. Was there anyone else in the house when you discovered the body? Mm, just my boyfriend. Oh, Nelson, boyfriend already? What's your boyfriend's name? Uh, Hot Toddy. Uh, Todd. What's his last name? Oh, uh, I don't know. Do you have a number where he can be reached? No, I don't have a number where he can be reached. What? Okay, so yeah, maybe boyfriend is a bit premature. What is this, an interrogation? I'm just doing my job. I'm gonna go check with forensics and see what they've come up with. I'll be right back. Uh, excuse me, Detective Winters. Um, I was wondering, I don't know what your schedule is, but I know this very intimate dark bar. Bar? Well, I go to a bar when I can fuck you right here. No. Well, it's, it's just that sometimes when I have a cocktail or two, I tend to remember more and I might think of something. No. Well, if you're not... 
No. He's obviously straight. Wait a minute. I knew it. He wants me. How can I help you, detective? Weren't you a cult model? I was, uh, back in the 90s. Wood Burns. Uh, that was actually a stage name. Burns was a stage name. Wood was short for Woodrow, which is my real name. But then I thought, you know what? Wood actually does burn. And I thought, you know, I want to try to make some kind of statement with my name and be like this cool guy. That's in it. But I never really figured out what that statement was. Wood, was your neighborhood sprayed with a lot of DDT when you were a child? I don't know. I was such a huge fan of yours. I had your poster on my wall in college. You were so hot back then. Still are, in my opinion. Can I get my picture taken with you? Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Reggie, take the picture. Yeah, Reggie, take their picture. Be sure and focus. Say cheese. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah. And by the way, if this does turn out to be a homicide, you're all suspects. Thanks. Awesome! I think he likes me. Wow. Three guys hit me up on Growler. No face pics, though. Just dick shots. How are you supposed to tell who they are? Dick shots. Oh. Okay, the black guy, that's Craig. He works out at the same gym as us. He's that guy who's always on the elliptical, staring at people. Oh. Okay, the uncut one is Habib at the 7-Eleven. You're cruising guys at the 7-Eleven. Fine. Okay, oh, and the third, the curved one. Ooh, that's Owen. Total freak, stay away from him. Wow. You're like the dick whisperer. I'm here to help. I can't believe this is happening. What's wrong, Nelson? Did your hot muscle Verica break up with you already? Wow. I thought it'd last at least till Friday. Nelson, you know I love you, but you really need to start focusing on chasers looking for sugar daddies. Yeah, you love sugar. <laughs> no kidding. One more Snickers bar, I'll be popping Janubia with Paula Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished? That was Detective Winters. Jake Hub's death has been reclassified a homicide. What? How? He didn't give me any details, but that means the three of us are suspects. We've got to figure out what the hell happened before we all end up in prison getting raped. <laughs> oh, honey, I don't think you have much to worry about. But you know what? You and me, we would totally have to watch our backs. Oh my god, us? We would totally get raped! Right? Yes! You don't have to worry. If there was a clue lying around, they would have found it. Oh, look what I found. How did Detective Winters miss that? When you're that hot, you don't have to be too good at anything. <gasps> Do you think this is Jacob's drink? Uh, maybe. I mean, you think maybe he was poisoned? I mean, he, there were no signs of trauma or, or bruising. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, oh my god. We should turn this over to the police. No, we shouldn't. What, and incriminate us? No, 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 we need to figure out another way that Jacob could have been poisoned. But Detective Winters isn't talking. I mean, who are we going to call? Oh, uh, how about the L.A. County coroner who did the autopsy? Sure would. I got her on speed dial along with the governor. Oh, you know her too? Uh, you don't know her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to high school with her. She was my beard at prom. We double dated with her best friend and the tight end from the football team. A tight end? Not after we dropped the girls off. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, that's him. That's Detective Winters. He's here to arrest us. I have the glass. I have the evidence. What do we do? Hide it. Hide the glass. Ooh. I get handcuffed first. I can't go to prison. I can't. The food is god awful. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Todd. Hey guys, it's cool. It's my boyfriend, Todd. Yeah, like it's really his boyfriend. <laughs> Hey guys. Wow. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Well, I texted you earlier and left a voicemail, and now that I'm standing here on your doorstep, I kind of feel like a stalker. Oh, come on in. Move it, Lurch. Make way for my lover. Babe, come on in. So, uh, did, did the uh, police contact you? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I've just been really busy lately. 
totally reasonable explanation. No need to ever talk about it again. Um, hey, are you available for dinner tonight? <laughs> yes. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, actually, I'm not. I, uh, oh. well, I teach a seminar. It's for children who audition for Disney Channel shows. Uh, not Nickelodeon, though, because... Miranda Cosgrove took out a restraining order against me. It's this really long, embarrassing story. Anyway, but you know, it's all about me sharing the gift. That's sweet. Um, what about tomorrow night then? Absolutely. Great. All right. Uh, mm. Mm. God, it tastes good. Oh, you too. All right. Well, uh, then I guess I will see you tomorrow night, guys. Remember, don't leave me hanging. I know where you live. Too busy to talk to the cops, but free to take Nelson to dinner? Are we being punked? I got Brico. Oh my god. You haven't changed a bit. Still tall. Still friggin' sexy. I totally want to blow you. Just so you know, I'm gay now. <laughs> you were gay then. I saw the look on that tight end's face the day after prom. Come in. I'm so excited to get your call. Haven't seen you since graduation. Weren't you valedictorian? I always loved you for your mind. No, I barely graduated. Yeah, but you always thought with your penis, which makes you smart in my book. Yeah, speaking of smart, wow, you're really doing well for yourself. Yeah, I guess all those years playing doctor with the neighborhood boys finally paid off. County corner, so cool. I'm making you a double martini. Are you trying to get me drunk? I remember you weren't always so gay when you were drunk. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll have a drink, I'll have a drink. Go make me a drink. Make yourself comfortable, sexy. I'll be right back. Feel free to ditch the pants. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> just want to be Little Red Riding Hood skipping to grandmother's house through that forest. But you're not here to see him. You're here to see me, right, stud? Have a seat with me on the couch. You're the stomach contents from the hooker. Not now. Go work someplace else. So, what excuse are you going to use to see if I'm still as hot as I was in high school? So, I... I heard you did the autopsy on a friend of mine who died recently. That party bear? You knew him? Mm hmm What a pity. Whoa, whoa, hey, he was oh, a cutie. Oh, hey, so I was wondering if you know how he died. Come on, Wood. Is that really why you're here? Yeah. Fuck. I was hoping you'd had a head injury and thought you were straight. Sort of a reversal of that straight English rugby player that had a freak gym accident and went into a coma and he woke up, he thought he was a completely gay hairdresser. Wood, I have been dying to suck that dick of yours for years. It's the only thing I can think about since you called. If I let you suck it, will you tell me what I want to know? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, but you're probably going to need some help getting hard, right? Well. Potter, get in here. Good idea. Take your shirt off. Strip for him. Look. I told you before, I'm not a stripper, I have a PhD. Just do it! Yeah. Faster! I need music, I can't do this without music. 
For fuck's sake. Yes, I like that. All right. Uh-huh. Like where you going with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's working. I'm feeling wood. Yeah, pants. There we go. Good job, Potter. Ooh. Yeah, dance for me. Nice ass. Do the cabbage patch. Yeah. Do the sprinkler for me. Yeah. Do the swim. Do your, your fish now. You're a sexy fish. You're my sexy little bitch fish. That's what you are. Yeah, that'll. Whew, that. that I'm, Do the Kylie Minogue. Don't talk. Don't, don't, don't ruin it. Yes. Yes, and we're off! Thank you! Whew. So, what happened to the guy? She found traces of an odorless, fast acting poison in Jacob's system. Someone definitely had it out for him. Wow. I've never been a person of interest in a murder investigation before. Well, just for the record, Wood, it's not a good thing. Oh, come on, it's pretty cool. I haven't felt this important since I was, oh, uh, Mr. December in that 1997 cult calendar, remember? They had me completely naked, but I had that, that Santa hat on, and then they had me like on all fours with my ass in the air and that sling and those elves came up. Do you up mind, and we're the... eating here. Excuse me for wanting to relive my glory days. The guy was murdered at our house, so we have to clear our names. I, I, somebody had to have poisoned either the food or the drinks at the party. Okay, now think, who was around the food all night? You, you were. were. Who was around the bar drinking all night? You, you were. were. Okay, what about the caterer? You guys should go talk to her. Us? Why us? You were the one who hired her. I can't, I got an audition later. <laughs> <laughs> for what? <laughs> it's a very high profile audition for the Disney Channel. It's a show called Super Hoops. It's about a junior high school basketball team that all realize they have superpowers and I play the unsuspecting gym teacher. <laughs> gym teacher! Nelson, why don't you audition for roles you can actually book? But you know what? I heard they're making a new biopic on John Wayne Gacy. Oh my god, he would be perfect for that. I know, he dressed up as a clown and worked kids' parties too. Oh my god, and oh, he's come the same way. John Wayne Gacy, really? Hey, you don't know who's casting that, do you? No. Okay. All right, look, I'm gonna go on this audition, all right? And I'm gonna book it, too. And you, you're unemployed, and you are supposedly a travel writer, even though I've never seen any article. Have you? You, you set your own schedule, so you guys have plenty of time to go talk to the caterer. I, I can't, I have a job interview today. But you know what, I can blow it off. Uh, I just probably won't have this month's rent. If, yeah, forget it. You owe me for last month's rent, too. Plus the extra fee for paying after the fifth. Whatever. What about you? I can't, I have a date. With who? Him. You don't even know him. I know, but he just sent me a message on Growler, and he's got my entire checklist. BDSM, kink, raunch, leather, jock straps, cock ring, tit clamps, both dom and submissive. That's your checklist? Who are you, the Marquis de Sade? What is some of that, st I don't even know what some of that stuff is. Is it even legal? Oh my god, look, okay, fine. I'll go talk to the caterer, all right? But you know what, you don't see me dropping everything for some guy. Oh my god. It's him. It's him. It's him. I got it. I got it. Give it wood. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, babe. Hey, yeah, no, I'm just uh, sitting here thinking about you. Well, yeah, apparently somebody poisoned him at our party. Yeah, Wood found a martini glass that uh, was near the dead body, and we think it might have been his cocktail. I know. All right, text me later. Bye. So, did he go by the police station to give an interview? No. <sighs> Well, he had a good excuse. He, he worked a double shift and he was exhausted. Okay, fine. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, you know, what's he hiding and why is a hot guy like him with a guy like me, right? We didn't say that. Okay, you know, what is this? Why is it so hard to believe that, that a hot stud like Todd would want to be with somebody like me? I mean, come on, that guy over there wants to be with you, Reggie, and you're average looking too. Average? Really? Well, would an average guy get a hit from someone less than 250 feet away? Yeah. 
That's right. I can go around the corner and top that hot Armenian guy at the flower mart, or I can bottom for this guy right over here, which, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do right now because I am definitely not average. And action. When having friends over for lunch, show them that you really care by incorporating some fresh flowers in your tablescape. I like to use something unconventional for a vase, like this old blender. Isn't that unique? And what a great conversation starter. Think of what everyone will be saying about blenders and vases. Ah, voila! <laughs> Up next, a few helpful hints on one of my favorite topics, braising. I'm Honey Garrett, and you're watching A Little Bit of Honey. <laughs> oh. And we're out. you to cater my birthday party the other night? Oh, right. Wow, I'm surprised you remember. I haven't seen the guest of honor swill that much booze since I catered Liza Minnelli's wedding to that gay troll. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, what are you doing, by the way? Oh, we're doing a demo for the Food Network. Oh my god. Do you need a, a charismatic sidekick with tons of acting experience? I um, carry these with me everywhere. Mm, I see that you do, but, uh, sorry, it's a cooking show, not The Biggest Loser. Okay. Uh, listen, honey... Uh, don't, don't get that familiar with me, I don't know you. I was just calling you by your name. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, before you go back to taping, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the night of the party. Your food was delicious, by the way. Oh, what a doll! Now, I don't need a sidekick, but I would like people to stop by Honey's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, roll... Phil, get off the phone and roll the camera! Oh, And action. I'm back, and just like the Barefoot Contessa, I like to have my gay queenie friends stop by the show as well. And today I have Nelson. And Nelson, I recently catered your 50th birthday party. I, I, uh, 40th birthday, <laughs> if any casting directors are watching. However, my age range is 30 to 50. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, apparently my shrimp puffs were a huge hit. <laughs> Actually, there were very few leftovers mm. of anything, right? I thought I had gone overboard preparing, you know, food for a hundred, but then these 20 very large men came by the party and really cleaned me out. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nelson, do you have any questions about my food? Uh, actually, I do. Were you around the food the entire night? Oh, well, of course I was. I prepared it. Well, did you notice anybody suspicious around the food? Could they have put something in it? Uh, gee, Nelson, I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> I use only the freshest ingredients. <laughs> Listen, honey... I'm not your friend. Don't call me that. I'm just calling her by name. Ms. Oh, Garrett, yes. someone was murdered at our party, okay? And the police believed they were poisoned. By my food? Maybe. Oh, my God, Phil, cut it off! Cut the goddamn camera off! Oh my god, get out here! Get out here! Wait! Get out You trying to ruin me? Huh? <laughs> Did Rachel Ray send you? Huh? Did she send you? Because I happen to know that she is very threatened by me. She will do anything in her power to make sure that my demo does not reach the executives at the Food Network, that gravelly voice. Bitch, 30 minute meal, my ass. 30 minutes, then you got shit on your plate, and then you gotta eat it. Calm down, honey. Don't patronize me. I'm not your honey. Oh, my God. Did you just change your name to honey? Well, actually, I did. I needed something a little catchier than a little bit of Agnes. <sighs> okay, look, look, I'm not accusing you of anything, oh. okay? But I have to know, do you recognize this guy? Because he's the one who was poisoned at our party that you catered. Well, I have never seen him before in my life, and I certainly didn't poison him. I did not hire any waiters. I served everything myself. So it could not have been my food. The only person I hired was the bartender. What's his name? 
Todd Stevens. Hot toddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was hot, and he was the only straight guy there, and he was flirting with me all night. Okay, uh, that's impossible because he's gay, and he's sleeping with me. Oh, sweetie. Oh, my. Oh, you are an actor. What a crock. He is, and I'm nuts about him. Oh, okay, crazy. Well, you just live in that little fantasy land you got up there in that noodle. And if you're through accusing me of murder, then I'd like to get back to my demo, you crazy mother fucker. Jesus, Phil, roll camera. We're losing light. He was bartending that night? Terrific. Reggie and Wood are going to have a field day with this. According to his Facebook page, which I only go to about 20 times a day, he works out here, so we might run into him. <gasps> look, there he is. Oh, Jesus, look at that. It's like a calendar photo. Yeah, and I tap that. Yeah, me. I, I tap that. Not fair. Oh, that butt. It's like, it's like a shelf. He's, he's going there. Okay, what do we do? Not too obvious. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I know you worked out at Elysian Park too. I do. Well, gosh, I'm surprised we haven't seen you here before. We come every day, don't we guys? Why did we have to use Google Maps to find the place? So uh, what do you like to do? Oh, all the usual stuff, dude. You know, push-ups, you know, free weights, crunches, you know, a lot of ab and core work. In fact, this week is my core week. It kind of sounds like my boot camp class. Exactly. Well, you know, um, my bartending gig isn't quite paying all my bills right now, so I'm sort of training to be a personal trainer. If you guys would be into it, you could be my uh, guinea pigs today, work <laughs> out. We'll be whatever you want us to be, Todd. Oh, well, I'd have to put on my mean, tough drill sergeant, you know, <laughs> persona. Go for it. All right. All right, you beer guzzling, pizza eating sacks of crap. Now get down and give me 20 push ups. Let's go. I'm dead serious. Now, now, now. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. We're so going to pay for this. Did I say you could speak cupcake? I don't think so. You just bought yourself another 20. Now let's go. Come on, touch your nose to the ground. Here we go. Come on, up and down. Pathetic, pathetic. It's a good thing. You guys! Oh. Is he having a heart attack? Oh god, I hope so. Then we'll finally have an excuse to stop this madness. Guys, right, guys, I didn't say I was trying for a break. We still got three more miles to go. Oh, shit. Honey, you okay? <laughs> What's he trying to say? I think what he's trying to tell you is that all the Wood and I are in excellent shape and could go uh, 12 more miles. Clearly. He really, really needs to stop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he also uh, uh, wants to know if you happen to have served your roommate a martini the night you were working the party at our house. <laughs> you got all that from the wheezing right here. Oh. No, I mean, we've known each other a long time, so, you know, we can practically finish each other's sentences. Look, I didn't serve Jacob anything. Like I said, I didn't even know he was at the party. Yeah. Well, somebody did. He was poisoned, and he didn't eat any of the food. He just had the one cocktail. You think I sparked the martini? No, no, ab absolutely not. Why would I do something like that? Jacob was my friend and my roommate, and now that he's dead and gone, I'm screwed on bills this month. That's why I need to do this training thing. 
Well, somebody slipped it in his drink. Well, I was at the bar all night and I only took one break for 15 minutes tops. Who covered for you when you took your break? Birthday boy. Me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember. I hope that's not she's drunk. What? What? That makes me a, a, the killer. Come on. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. You're the most adorable, sweet, cuddly man I've ever met. Couldn't hurt a fly. Kiss? All right. Now, uh, come on. We got some more work to do here. This ain't gonna fix itself. Let's go. What? What? I, I, don't give me that look. Okay, you heard him. He did not even see Jacob that night. He could be lying. I mean, how much do we really know about this guy? We know a lot about him, okay? And, and if there's one thing I know, it said he's innocent. Trust me! Shit. Probably sleeping with a murderer. Okay, I've been going through my cell phone videos from the party to see if there was anybody else there that we didn't know besides Jacob. Yeah, and? And, voila! Who's that guy? I don't know, but he was following me around all night. Hi. Do I know you? Hey, don't mind me. I'm, I'm just standing here swimming in the elegance of your ungodly manliness. All right, well, you take care. Where's he from, Middle Earth? Who invited a hobbit to my birthday? I specifically said I only wanted hot bears. Somebody's got to know who he is and where we can find him. Yeah, well, you know, okay, you know what? I'll go into the Evites. I'll, I'll check and see who RSVP plus one. They will call people and then maybe somebody will know who he is. That's a great idea. Oh, you know what I could do? I could look at his card. I bet you it has some type of contact info on it. What card? He gave me his card at the party. He gave you his card? Yeah. I, couldn't you have told us this before, you moron? Well, excuse me, but I'm the only one that came up with a clue. You need to get a clue, Wood. George Ridgemont. Wood burns as I live and breathe. Uh, these are my friends. This is Nelson and Reggie. Hello. Come in. Come in. <laughs> And excuse this little outfit, I just got home from Pilates. But I've got to thank you for the other night. It was such a good time. And it's always nice to spend an evening with good friends, good wine. Sit, sit. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> we can't, can't stay as much as we'd love to for maybe some uh, fashion tips. Um, listen, George, um, we're really glad that you came to our party, but we were sort of wondering... Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm George Ridgemont. Yeah, no, I know we know that from your card, but who are you? Uh, okay, maybe maybe it's pointless to continue this little charade of mine. I'm sure by now you, you know the little crime I committed. <gasps> so you poisoned the naked bear cub? No, I crashed your party. To see him. In the flesh. Would? Really? Why? Well, you might say I'm a connoisseur of the male form. And all of its attributes. <sighs> You collect gay porn. In layman's terms, yes. But I have every video, every photograph, every book that ever featured this tall hunk of a man. So, when one of my dental patients mentioned to me, under anesthesia, of course, that Mr. Burns was having a party for one of his friends, I thought, it's my chance. I'll sneak in. I'll crash. I'll get a glimpse of the real thing. Well, uh, I hope you weren't disappointed. <clears throat> Thought you'd be taller. Okay, okay, wait a minute, let me get this straight. So, you have a dental practice on the Shire, and you drug your Hobbit patients so you have a social life on weekends? Nelson, Nelson, we need to know, do you know this man? Hmm, don't know him, but I did see him the other night at your party. He was arguing with some guy. 
Uh, with who? Uh, Long, tall, drink of a man, big mustache. Said he lost half his body weight. When you lost all that weight, you threw away everything. Our comedy act was called The Two Fat Guys. I had high blood pressure, diabetes, and a pulmonary embolism the size of a smart car. So you'll forgive me if I chose my health over our stupid little comedy act. So you'll lose a limb! Dickie Calloway. Dickie Calloway, that's the one. He's a big star now. A big star. Big star? Okay, that is a stretch, Frodo. Right, he's just a working actor. Okay, you know what? Dickie Calloway's only a working actor because he's a dick. One time, he actually slashed the tires of another actor just so he could get the part of the banana guy in the Fruit of the Loom campaign. <laughs> I would so not be surprised if Dickie were the killer. Oh dear God, why don't you guys just go get a room? And thank you so much for signing my authentic wood burns dildo. Yeah. Uh, is there somewhere I can wash my hands? Yeah, kitchen. Okay. Oh, and please say that was made using the actual dimensions. Oh, I'm afraid not. Yeah. Oh. They had to shrink it down a bit. The packaging was too expensive. Oh. <sighs> Wish. George, what is that? That's Wood's bedroom. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is, Gollum. What the hell is it doing on your computer? It's Woods Bear Camp. I'm one of 4,000 devoted followers who spend every waking moment watching Wood brush his teeth, shave his back, and big sigh here. Sleep in the buff. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a webcam show? Dude, it's so worth the $49.95 a month. How much? How else do you think I can afford to go out with you guys on the weekends? Well, I never really thought about it because we always pay for your drinks. Oh God, oh, please tell me you're not doing what you're going to do. Oh no. Uh, my subscribers pay to see everything that I do in my room, all right? I am not gonna hold back on them. And that's why I believe in God. Ugh, turn it off. Is that you? What are you doing in my room? Are you going through my drawers? Okay, yeah, I guess I went through your room, okay? I was looking for a condom. <laughs> condom? I mean, what for? Before Todd, you never had any sex. Does everything have to be a Senate inquiry with you guys? Okay, yeah, I, I needed a condom because, I don't know, that day I, I went to the gym and, you know, the steam room there is pretty cruisy and, well, I wanted to be prepared. You know? Oh, I applaud your optimism. <laughs> oh, God, can we please just turn this shit off? Wait, Wait what's that? When did this happen? That's, that's happening right now. I, I just switched over to live feed. Somebody's breaking into our house! Well, whoever it was, they're obviously not here. What do you think he was looking for? Oh, maybe he was looking for condoms like you were, Nelson. This is ridiculous. If he was looking for a condom, he should have gone to my room. Why? Because I buy them in bulk at Sam's Club. Magnum Triple Plus. I have way more mini hookups than you do. Oh, no, you do not. I most certainly do. Remember last week? I had about five guys in my I room. Had... Is this really a contest you need to win right now? I'm getting herpes just listening to it. Whoever it is, okay, they're looking for that martini glass because it's evidence that could incriminate them. I don't incriminate against anyone, all right? I sleep with all races. Yes. You know, I had a guy hiding in the closet last week, but it is so much scarier when you don't plan it in advance. That's not a 
don't really how Taft Hartley works. You gotta get a job first, and then you become... Well, 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 as I live and breathe. Nelson Dorkoff has decided to grace our little acting class once again. Hello, Dickie. You know, I'm trying to remember, when was the last time you were here? I've been working. Yeah, an iCarly here, a Big Bang Theory there. It's actually been pretty busy. I love the Big Bang Theory. I don't remember seeing you on it. Was it a crowd scene? You know, I don't have that much time to watch TV anymore. You know I've got that recurring role on The Walking Dead. <laughs> As a zombie? Yes. And yet, I still find time to come to class. I must be one of those weird actors who just likes to keep my instrument sharp. <coughs> you okay? You just made me throw up in my mouth a little. Hey, I am so sorry. I have not had a moment to email you and say thanks for inviting me to your birthday party. I actually didn't. I know. I came with people who were invited. But I just really wanted to be there, Nelson, to watch you turn another year older. Yeah, about the party. I need Exciting to... news, boys and girls! Today we're going to be doing improv. So, pair up and prepare to impress me. What do you say, Nelson? For old time's sake? Yeah, I wasn't planning on staying. I need to talk to you about what happened over at my... Oh, I totally get it. You don't want to get up there. Your improv skills are probably really rusty. Why don't you sneak out the front? <laughs> oh, I am so going to mop the floor with you. Bring it! Give us a location! I want to see some real emotion in these scenes, okay? Some raw emotions. You're at a party. Go. There's a dead body in the bathtub. No, we're at a doctor's office. I'm here for my physical. Really? Yeah, and at the party, one of the guests saw you having a fight with the victim. Okay, which would be fine if he died of natural causes, but he didn't die of natural causes. No, he didn't. The police ruled his death a homicide, which begs the question, what were you two fighting about, and were you the one who killed him? Dickie, I knew that you had a mean streak, okay? Yeah, because you always put me down and you always make fun of me, but really, killing some poor sap at my 40th birthday party just to ruin it? Well, now you've gone too far! Nelson, I know it's uh, been a while since you've been to my class, but uh, it's customary to let your scene partner respond at some point. Okay, all right. What do you have to say for yourself, murderer? Oh, my... ah! Yes! Dickie, I love your energy, your focus. Nelson, as usual, you're a little over the top, so uh, pull it back a bit. Oh, you! Ah! He just, he really tried to strangle me right there. I was just doing the scene. I may have gotten a little carried away. You know I'm a method actor. Carried away my ass. He was trying to strangle me, and everything I said really happened at my party. None of what you just said is the truth, especially the part about you turning 40. <laughs> Wait. Wait, so you deny that you had a big fight with Jacob at my birthday party? A fight with Jacob? That guy's a weirdo. He was a big fan of mine. He was upset because I wouldn't friend him on Facebook. Do you know I'm closing in on 5,000 friends? Oh, dear God. I, I said you can like me on my fan page, but even that, that wouldn't satisfy him. So then he gets this phone call, and that's when he really freaked out. About what? I don't know, Nelson. I don't eavesdrop. I was talking to this guy that he was dating, and he was really upset because they got in a fight over Jackie Beat's drag show the couple days before. But I stopped listening at that point because it got really tedious, just like your birthday party. Guys, the scene is aimless. Let's try something else. Dickie, you start. You're at a psychiatrist office. Go. Nelson, why are you so insecure that you lie about your age and about the parts that you play on television? I'm here to get my car repaired. On a skateboard with handles? What are you, grabbing boobs? Little legs? Uh, Be specific! He can't even strangle right! Yeah, can you believe it? They're remaking Carrie. I mean, that movie is a fucking classic, am I right? Whose asshole idea was that?
And who are they going to get to play Carrie? Miley Cyrus? <laughs> Exactly. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't you hire Sharon Stone to play the mother and really fuck it up? Oh, honey, I gotta go. Yeah, some old friends are here. No, I don't think they realize just how incredibly rude it is to show up right before someone goes out on stage. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Beat. They said they knew you. Yeah, everybody knows me. I'm famous. Can I? Don't go anywhere. Let me tell you something. My rider is not being respected. I was just backstage. There's no beef jerky. There's no cream cheese with the jalapeno jelly. No assorted crackers. Huh? And what about this? Hello? I specifically requested room temperature Fuji, not this crystal geyser bullshit. Okay, I don't even want the word crystal anywhere near me. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I mean, ma'am. Get the fuck out of here! Uh, excuse me. <sighs> Someone's in a good mood. Yeah. Hey! Well, 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 if it isn't Curly and Larry, where the fuck is Mo? About time you bitches came to my show. I told you before, I need bears here. That way if it's half full, it still looks packed. What are you talking about, Jackie? We were front row center last Friday night, right? What? What? No, no. Remember you said that you couldn't stomach another tired old drag queen? I can hear you. Listen, um, Jackie, the reason we stopped by is, well, I'm sure you've heard about the dead guy we found in our house. Yeah. Well, it turns out he was at your show the night before. So I was hoping you'd look at this picture and see if you recognize him. Of course I do. Should have killed that asshole myself. That douchebag talked during my entire Celine Dion tribute. Your Celine medley was the favorite part of the show. We loved it, right, Blood? Oh, I cried. Oh. oh, you two are such fucking liars, okay? You didn't see my fucking show. I would never do Celine Dion. That was a test, and you failed it. Okay, we are so, so sorry, Jackie, but we just have a couple of questions we want to ask, and then I promise you we'll be right out of your hair. So you're not staying for the show? Oh, I want to. I love your shows. I mean, I especially like how famous singers let you perform their hit songs after they rewrite them for you with dirty lyrics. Are you really that stupid? I write the fucking dirty lyrics. Whoa, 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 wait. So Peggy Lee didn't write Beaver and then send it to you? Uh, no, and I got a newsflash for you. Don't freak out. Peggy Lee is dead. <laughs> wow. First Whitney, now Peggy? Too soon. Listen, we're really gonna try to come to your show, but we- You'll try to see my show, huh, friend? Listen, let me ask you a quick question. How many cult events have I attended, huh? How many of those stupid travel book signings did I go to? And don't even get me started on those horrible shows by Nelson. Half Nelson, full Nelson. I swear to God, my dental implants were less painful. Okay, okay, we will definitely stay for the show, but just answer this one question. The dead guy who disrupted your performance, do you remember who he was here with that night? Of course I do. Ramon Santiago of the Eagle LA. Hot Toddy is a bartender at the Eagle. Coincidence? I think not. Oh my God, you guys, this is so fascinating. But Cagney and Lacey, guess what? This little reunion's over because I've got a sound check to do, so get the fuck out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So Katy Perry didn't write I Kissed a Squirrel. Get the fuck out! I swear to God, that guy is like honey mustard. He's hot and sweet, but essentially useless. All right, from the top, I kissed a squirrel. That meal was a religious experience. Well, they say the uh, way to a man's heart is... Well, after dinner like that, you're gonna get a little more than my heart. We are so having sex tonight. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> And I can't wait to tear your clothes off and get you back to bed. But there's one thing I have to get out of the way or you kill her. What? What are you talking about? 
Are you the one who poisoned Jacob's drink at our party? <laughs> no, Nelson, no. I told you that before. What? Why don't you trust me? I do trust you. I didn't even want to ask the question. I just wanted to go to bed, but I had to because my stupid roommates don't trust you. They're crazy. I, I trust you, you know what? And you're innocent. Thank you. I know you didn't poison your roommate. You, you, you were using your friend. Thank you. I, you know what? I can't even believe I asked you this crap. You know what? Case closed. We're moving on. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Oh, I like where you're going with that. Uh -huh. You know where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, hello. Yeah, I, I do have one more question before we start. What, what comes to mind when I say the name Ramon Santiago? Uh, owner of the Eagle. I guess the word boss comes to mind since I work for him. So not cold-blooded murderer. They made me ask you that. <laughs> now what are you trying to get at? Well, Ramon and Jacob had a huge fight the night before Jacob was poisoned. So, I don't know, do you think maybe they were, I don't know. Doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ramon sleeps with all his employees. All of them? Yeah, pretty much. Though Jacob was different a little bit. Uh, Ramon was like obsessed with him or something. He would call at weird times of the day and night and texted him a lot, like a dozen times a day or more sometimes. Well, I texted you 20 times yesterday. 22, actually, but no, I wasn't counting. Uh, that's different though, I like to hear from you. Um, Jacob was scared of Ramon though. And it's no secret Ramon has a violent temper. And this one time Jacob showed me this text from Ramon that said he would never let him leave and if he ever tried to leave, he would hunt him down. Did you tell this to the police? Uh, no, I haven't actually called them back yet. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I will. Wow, you know, uh, nobody really saw Ramon at the party, so I guess he, I don't know, he couldn't have been the person who put the poison in Jacob's drink. Unless he had someone else do it for him. <laughs> what am I doing? This is nuts. Hey, you know what? Fuck the bedroom. Roommates are gone. Let's see, we do it here. Uh, Nelson, hang on. Just talking about Jacob kind of gets in my head and uh, kills the mood a little bit. Is it okay if we take a rain check tonight? Absolutely. You know, I'm sorry. I can't even believe I brought up these stupid questions. I, I, I'm dumb. It's okay. You know what? Don't worry about it. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. <laughs> well, good, because that's kind of where I was gonna go here anyway, after I uh, work on your nips for a little while until you want to scream, and then hold you in my arms all night because I'm such a cuddle monster like that. I'm sorry, did I just say all that out loud? Yeah, you did. Yeah, well, I'm not sorry. That was an empty apology. Mm. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, thank you for dinner, it was, you know, thank you. I'm just gonna get out of here for right now. I'll talk to you later. Okay, yeah, I'll text you probably 20 times. You know, crazy me. Well, I'll be counting. So, no pressure. <laughs> I can't believe I just got cock blocked by a dead guy. That was amazing one. So will I see you next week? Of course, puppy. Wood, I told you, Juan doesn't like you doing his job for him while he's taking his break. I had to do something to drown out the sound. Have you seen Nelson this morning? No, he was gone before I got up. Well, we need to sit him down and give him the facts that Todd is way more involved in this murder than he's willing to admit. Yeah, he's never gonna believe us. Look, I know I come down hard on Nelson sometimes, but he's not delusional. Sooner or later, he's going to come to his senses. Really, at his core, Nelson is a very serious person. What?
commission? No, Wood. Actually, I was at Vaughn's. Yeah, I always do our weekly grocery shopping dressed as a circus clown. Of course I was at an audition, you idiot! Ooh, how did it go? Horribly. Yeah, I finally got in on that John Wayne Gacy biopic. I mean, it's the role of a lifetime. But because of you two, I blew it. How is your bad acting our fault? I am not a bad actor. But today I kind of was because last night I didn't get to have sex with my life partner. Oh, now he's your life partner? Oh my God, it's been less than a week. I've had blowjobs that have lasted longer. <sighs> your insistence that I question him again ruined our entire dinner. So today, that's all I could think about. I prepared for hours for this audition. I practiced stabbing, kidnapping. I even practiced digging underneath the house. And you know I hate manual labor. But I went into the audition and I mangled it. Well, that's what you say about every audition. <sighs> anyway, here's what I was supposed to do. It was just supposed to be one line, okay? One line. Yeah, it's the part where, you know, Gacy's dressed up as Pogo the Clown and he goes to a kid's birthday party and he turns, I'm supposed to turn towards camera and be really menacing and creepy. Menacing and creepy? That's you with the eagle every Friday night. Yeah, that's right in your wheelhouse. Here's what I was supposed to do. Hi, kids. Come closer. It's me, Pogo. Ooh. <laughs> But I, I couldn't even remember the line because of last night's date debacle. Okay, you know what? I wish you guys would just let this whole Todd's a killer thing go. I wish we could too, Nelson, but Wood and I are dealing in reality. Let's play connect the dots. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think we should play games right now. I think we should focus on this case. Yeah, duly noted. Okay, we know that Jacob was poisoned at our party. We know that he didn't have anything to eat. He just had something to drink. We know that Hot Toddy was the bartender. And we know you told him we found Jacob's martini glass and then somebody broke into our house looking for it. Okay, come on, you guys. We all have to be thinking the same thing. Look, you two. The guy that we should be focused on is Ramon Santiago. Toddy told me he was obsessed with Jacob. Yeah, he sent him all sorts of threatening phone calls and emails. He's got a huge temper and he's really jealous and Jacob was actually frightened of him. Well, what should we do? Well, I've actually been thinking about that, okay? Because one time I had a walk-on role in an indie feature where I took the time as an actor to prepare a backstory for my character. I named him Marvin and he was a crack addict with OCD and he lost his house in foreclosure. Get to the point, Nelson. Anyway, to prepare for the role, I actually went down and spent the night down on Skid Row and came dangerously close to injecting a heroin speedball with a hooker that was- <sighs> Still not getting to the point, Nelson. My point is, we should go undercover at the Eagle. Try to get some clues about the murder. That's a great idea. You know what we could do? We could act like customers and order beers and hit on guys and stuff. We do that every weekend. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go in the house. I'm gonna come up with our covers, our character bios, and our inner monologues. I love this stuff! Oh good, the plumber's here. I didn't know there's a problem with the plumbing. There isn't. Hey, Sergey.
awesome, Lester. You totally sold the out of control drunk guy bent. I started drinking at five and that bartender totally ignored me and I, I just won't be ignored. No, I, I get it, I get it. Here's a 20 for your troubles and uh, go sleep it off, okay? Santiago, I own this place. Hi. So, uh, my boys Hulk and Thor here just stood around like a couple of retarded statues watching that guy cause a scene, but you stepped in. You handled the situation. What's your name? Wood Burns. Yes, the Wood Burns. I get recognized all the time. <laughs> Sorry, man. I have no idea who the hell you are. But I do recognize a good bouncer when I see one. Well, I was gonna ask you if you wanted a job, but apparently you're super famous, so I... No, 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 I'm not that famous. I mean, I haven't been a calendar since like 1998. I would love to work here. All right, well, let's go fill out the paperwork. And of course, you're gonna have to give me a blowjob. Totally understandable. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm in! You want me to start tonight? What? Have you even thought about how you're going to portray this brooding bouncer with a dark past? Have you thought about your subtext, your hopes, your wishes, your family history, anything? I was just gonna be myself. <laughs> That's why I'm the only one here with the SAG card. This section all set, show starts in five minutes. I told you, Tani, I'm not doing it. Oh, you're doing it. What? I'm trying to get him in another bear chess contest. Shoe into Winnie, the hottest guy here. You're doing it. Hey, get with the shirt off. Me in a bear chess contest? Have you ever heard of anything more ridiculous? No, no, no! It's perfect! You'll be up on stage in, in full view of the entire bar. You can keep an eye on Ramon and his goons while Reggie and I sneak back there and look for clues and shit. It's perfect! How come the only time you actually make sense is when it involves me humiliating myself? Just lucky, I guess! Hey, Reggie, what's up? Hey, sexy, how are I you? I really miss Jacob. Oh, yeah? And this whole Martha is really freaking me out. What? We were friends, you know? We shared everything. The leather gear, chopsticks, sometimes even boyfriends. My friends? We also had a sign chain together in Palm Springs. Hey, uh, if you ever need a weekend getaway, let me know, okay? Uh, I can rent it to you real cheap. I'm broken. I need a new computer. He, he was supposed to let me borrow the money before he died. He had some extra cash because he was doing freelance accounting work for Ramon. Accounting? I, to be honest, Daryl, the only words I was able to make out from that whole speech were, were chapstick and timeshare. You, you let Jacob chapstick and you have some kind of timeshare in Palm Springs. Am I even warm? Yeah. Yeah, okay, don't, don't worry, don't worry, you're still hot. What? I said you're hot. Reggie! Find me later, I gotta go. Right. Okay, hey everyone, how's it going tonight? So, my name is Tom and I will be the host for our Mr. Bear Chess 2012 contest this evening. We have four contestants for you, and right now let's get a look at them. Let's come out.
Adam's locker. Oh, it's gotta be his backpack. Let's see. Phone. Okay. Hello. Phone. Okay, uh, it looks like he recorded some voice memos. Hold on. Meet Bruce Daniels at Akbar on Friday the 16th at 7 p.m. to go over my set. Okay, Bruce Daniels, he's that stand-up at Akbar. I mean, it sounds like Jacob was trying to be a comic or something. Oh, and the 17th? That was the night of our party. The combination of the safe is 12, 16, 82. Ramon doesn't think I know it, but I do. You know, Cyril said something about Jacob doing accounting work for Ramon, but, you know, obviously I couldn't understand most of it because his accent's thicker than Borat's. Oh, you know what? I will go open the safe, and I'll take pictures with my phone of everything, and then maybe something's in there that'll be, like, valuable information for oh, us. Great idea. Are you going to remember the combination? Uh, I have a photogenic memory. Photographic memory. And believe me, it's not pretty. So the cops were here tonight. They're asking all sorts of questions. Jacob's murder is all over the news. I don't have to tell you how bad this is going to be for us if they stay focused on this club. We've got to keep a low profile. They can't pin anything on you, Mr. Santiago. They got no proof. Yeah, well, if they look hard enough, they'll find proof. Why did I ever get involved with that kid? He was the one that was all over you, boss. Look. I don't need a kiss ass right now, okay, Thor? I have to keep this contained, or else we're all screwed. Boss, we need you out here. Get out of the way. Oh my God, did you hear that? They are totally involved. No, 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 no. They're not involved. Ramon was involved with Jacob, but now he regrets it. I'm talking about the murder. He basically admitted killing him. Oh. I did not get that. Yeah, I know. Right. That was fast. Did you find anything in the safe? I forgot the combination. I thought you said you had a photographic memory. I do, but Jacob said the number. I need to see it so that it's like a photograph in my mind. All right, well, here's a pen. Write it on your hand so you don't forget. Gotcha. What is it? 12, 16, 82. 12, 16, 82. Right. 12, 16, 82. 12, 16, 82. 12, 16. I got it. Good. Good. I forgot it again. It doesn't matter. You wrote it on your hand. You can just look at it. Good point. Oh my God. All right, guys, let's bring up our contestants for the last time. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Hold on one second. Do not leave. I just have to take this really fast. Okay, hey. What? I'm a little busy right now. Trust me, you're gonna want to hear this. No, 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 no. Please, don't. I don't talk to me. Okay, this better be good. What? Meet me outside. All right, I took pictures of everything in the safe. You wouldn't believe what it keeps in there. Just money, valuables, like important looking documents. I didn't see any porn. Okay, I'll get Nelson. We'll, we'll meet you outside. So there you have it, those are our contestants, and now it is time to crown our Mr. Bear Chest 
won? I actually won! I know, and with absolutely no help whatsoever! It's like a miracle! This may be the happiest day of my life! Hey, hey, you know what? I should go tweet all my followers! No, 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 Wood called. He wants us to meet him outside! Oh, Reggie, I can't! There's a photographer here from a Bears Life magazine. He wants to shoot me right now. They want to make me next month's uh, cover model. Okay, Nelson, your pageant reign is not the priority here. Okay, if we're talking about priorities, then why are you sitting here and not keeping an eye on Ramon? I am keeping an eye on Ramon. I've been keeping an eye on Ramon all night. He's right over there. Oh my God, he's not there. I, um, oh, I had to take a leak, so I was using the private restroom. Uh, there's a big line out front, and um, I'm a little pee shy. How can you be shy about anything? You used to flash your balls for a living? I had a special clause in my contract, no water sports. So, we good, boss? Why the hell do you have the combination of my safe written on the palm of your hand? Combination? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, this is, uh, this is, um, clearly, oh, this is my mom's birthday. And I, and I wrote it on here so that I would remember to send her a card. Oh, really? Mom's birthday? Yeah. 12, 18, 82? That's her birthday. Uh, that would make your mom about 30 years old. She had me very young. You're at least 40. How could your mother be 10 years younger than you? I don't know. He's hated math. Look, nobody tries to steal from me. You're fired. I want you out of here. Go check the safe. Make sure nothing's missing. You go follow that guy. I don't trust him. Go see what he's up to and report back. This is explosive stuff. Ramon is operating some sort of money skimming operation so he can screw investors out of profits. Well, if Jacob was doing accounting work, like Cyril said, he could have stumbled across the cooked books and, and threatened to blow the operation wide open. Yeah, but Ramon was an our party, okay? So he couldn't have been the one who put the poison in Jacob's martini. He could have hired someone, someone in desperate need of cash, someone who would have a reason to be at our party, someone, oh, I don't know, like the bartender? Okay, you know what, Reggie, don't even go there. Todd had nothing to do with this. And you know what? If you keep doing this, our friendship's over. Okay, fine, fine. So what do we do now? I, uh, we've got to go to the cops and show them this new evidence. Maybe they can put some sort of pressure on Ramon to confess to killing Jacob. Detective Chad Winters. I'll do it. I'll call him. Why you? <laughs> you guys? He was totally coming on to me when he was at our house questioning us. It was so obvious. Not to me. Me neither. I mean, I thought he was coming on to me. He was. He was practically drooling over Wood. Of course he was. He was using Wood to get to me. He just didn't want to appear overly aggressive. What? Look, I'm going home. I'm depressed. I can't believe I lost a job before I even finished my first shift. <laughs> I'm going inside because I'm Mr. Bear Chest 2012. <laughs> I have huge responsibilities to attend to inside. Yeah, okay, go, go, go. I will call Detective Winters if I can get a signal. Detective Winters, please. Tell him it's opportunity to call him. Oh. <laughs> Reggie didn't come home last night. Just for the record, Wood, it would be news if Reggie did come home after a night at the Eagle. Probably hooked up with somebody. You know what a whore he is. Mo, well, did you see him go back into the bar after he called Detective Winters? <laughs> Wood, I'm Mr. Bear Chest 2012. <laughs> I was greeting my fans. My fans are the ones who made me, okay? You know, I have time for, you know, worrying about a, you know, flaky Reggie and what he's up to. You know, I'm worried about him. I'm gonna go by the bar and see if anybody's seen him. You know what, that's a good idea, actually. Uh, because you need to pick up a paycheck for that hour's work you did. Because you still owe me back rent, mister. And you moved in here eight years ago and you never gave me a cleaning deposit. All right, I'll, I'll get right on that. That sounded sarcastic. It was. Look, I 
want those pictures you took of my bookkeeping records, and I want them now. Look, I've told you a hundred times, I didn't take any pictures, so you're not going to find them on my phone. Don't make him angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. God, I'm such a sucker for a British accent. Mm. Hey, I'm running out of patience here. Yeah, well, it's your responsibility as a captor to feed the hostage, and I am starving. Does anyone else have a taste for those strawberry banana pancakes from IHOP? I love those. I know, right? God, you're cute. Are you single? Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? Hey, oh, shut him up. What? Get him over there. Shut the fuck up. What do you want? I came for my paycheck. Well, you worked under an hour. That's not even 20 bucks. A cashier's check or cash will be fine. Oh, jeez. Here. Now beat it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, a uh, quick question. Uh, what? Did you happen to see my friend last night? A heavyset guy, mid-40s, goatee? You just described my entire clientele. He's wearing a black leather jacket. Oh, just like the one on the chair over there. I've been calling him all day, but he's just not picking up. I'm kind of freaked out. You're gonna get that? Oh wow, you have the same phone cover as Reggie. Hello? Oh, hold on, one second, okay. Um, hi, yes, is Reggie there? No, Reggie's not here. But if you don't want Thor here to crack your head open, then you'll give me that phone. Okay, bye. Here you go. Oh, we looky here. My private business records right on your phone. Well, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Why not? I got everything the cops need to put me away. I don't need you anymore. Look, um, because I uh, downloaded the photos to my laptop. Damn it! You are really ruining my day. I'm sorry. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to go home. You're going to get your laptop. We'll meet in a public place. I get the laptop, and you can get your friend back, all right? But you listen to me. If you email one of those photos to anybody, your friend is dead. Okay, I'm good. Good, I'm good. Okay. Oh, one last thing though. What? How are we gonna find my friend Reggie? I told you he's missing. Let's get that shirt open, Mr. Burns. You don't have to tell me twice. Right? How are you feeling? Excited. You're gonna do fine. Thank you. Say something. Well, I think it's obvious that we both find each other attractive, and I think maybe after this we can get. No, 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 no. I mean, say testing one, two, three. Oh, um, testing one, two, three. Good. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna be right out of sight. Yeah. We're gonna do fine. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I just wish that Reggie was here because he'd be so jealous. Hey, hey, do you guys want to go get a room before we meet the vicious kidnapper who could blow our heads off? Hello, Wood. <laughs> Look who it is. Mr. Bearchest, 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. No autographs until we've concluded business. So, uh, where are your goons? Yeah. I don't need them to handle you two. Oh, God. Oh, God. You got the laptop? Yeah, right here, right here. Um, and I can give it to you in one second, but I'd like to know something quickly first. Uh, did you poison Jacob? 
What are you talking about? We know you two had a huge fight the night before the murder. What happened, huh? Did he find out what you were doing and threaten to expose you? And did he break up with you and you couldn't handle it because no one messes with Ramon Santiago? You know what? He did find out what I was doing and he did want to break up with me over it. But I could never hurt him. He was my soulmate. Part of me died with him. So you didn't poison Jacob. But you did skim profits from your investors at your club to milk your investors out of profits. Is that true? Are we close on that? Uh, yeah. Isn't that why we're here? Didn't quite get that. Can you just say it one more time and a little bit louder and right there? I said yeah. What is this? He said yeah. He said yeah. Move in. Move in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get a good oh. Free, Santiago. Yeah. You're under arrest. Take him away, Phil. Don't kill me! Don't fucking kill me! Busted. Don't kill me! Nailed you! Come on. Good job, fellas. Good job. Good job, Woods. It was so good. Did you hear me? I was. I heard everything. I, you did amazing work. I was right in there like that. I was like, hey, really talk right here. I enjoyed it. Hey, you did a great job. Thank you. Are you kidding me with this? Where's Reggie? Oh, he's in the trunk. Reggie, are you in there? Oh, oh, oh my thank God. God. Ow! Oh, Jesus. You must be so happy right now. Uh, why? You always had that kidnap fantasy. Yes, Wood. Fantasy. It's a little different when it's real. Right. Detective Winters. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you so much for coming to rescue me. Oh, thank sure. you. Sure. Sure. All right. OK. Now I got. OK. All right. All right. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Thank you. All right, boys. I got to go. See you later, Wood. God. Call me. We solved the case. We're heroes. We saved him. We're not heroes, Wood. You know, I believe Ramon. I, I don't think he poisoned Jacob, which means we're back to square one. I mean, we don't even know how Jacob was poisoned. Bruce Daniels. Oh, you mean that guy who hosts that comedy night drunk on mm -hmm. stage at Akbar and lies about his age on IMDb? You think he killed Jacob? No, remember? Jacob left that voice memo about doing a set at Bruce's show. That was right before he came to our party. Hey, well, maybe this Bruce guy who I've never heard of could shed some light on Jacob's state of mind and maybe, I don't know, remember something that could clear Todd for good. Oh, he's doing a show tonight. Let's go. Perfect. <laughs> Wait a minute. A live comedy show? <laughs> well, let's just hope that nobody spots me in the audience, because after the day I've had, I'm in no mood to perform. Oh, my God. No, it's, it's not going to happen. No way will I get up there. Mm -mm. No way. We'll talk to him after the show, okay? okay? Okay. I love the Grove because it makes me feel like I live in a town with a trolley that goes nowhere. <laughs> oh, look, three bears just walked in. Where's Goldilocks? <laughs> God, he's beautiful. Did you see him? Do you mind switching seats with me so I can? I'm just joking. I, I love the bears. I was invited to a bear event. It was called a bear <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. It consisted of a pig on a spit and wet naps. <laughs> He's no Wayne Brady. All right, thank you guys so much for coming out. We have a great show. Right now we have one lovely lady that is touring the country right now, and we're so honored to have her here. The very funny, the very talented, Miss Sean Polofsky. <laughs> So much. Wow. Oh gosh, what a thrill to be performing for all of you tonight here at Akbar. Thank you so much. You know, I'm not on the bill tonight, but I thought I would, you know, drop in because I know that Bryce here is always looking for some new talent. And no, I'm not. Here I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, my idea of uh, lifting weights is standing up. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Um, yeah, I went to the doctor uh, last week, and I had my uh, you know blood levels checked, my cholesterol, and boy, <laughs> let me tell you, my cholesterol was really high. How high was it? It was so high that the doctor didn't know if it was a cholesterol level or a Seth Rogen. Okay. All right. He's done. I've got the room back, people. Here's my card. Call me. I love you. No, really, I love you. Now the real star of the show. The one, the only, Miss Sean Pawlowski. That's for Sean. from that. Where'd he get that shirt? From a lesbian? Jesus. Ah, he was great. He was about as funny as the Holocaust. Did you guys enjoy that? Big old bear. I think people really liked me. Hey, Bryce. Hey, it's Bruce. And thanks for fucking up my show tonight. <laughs> what are you talking about? I killed. Yeah, you did. And after seeing your act up there, a little piece of me died. Uh, Mr. Daniels, big, big fan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, the real reason we're here is to discuss an unfortunate episode that happened at our house. Oh, you mean that bear that died in your tub? You know you're never going to lay in that house again. See, I told you. Oh, my God, you're totally right. Well, we know that you were uh, coaching Jacob on a stand-up act that night. So, um, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've coached a few models in my time. I was a pretty famous model, and I... I teach them how to, you know, lay in a bed and, you know, show their balls without really getting their hand in the way. It's a very rookie mistake, happens a lot, but I'm on top of that. My, fa my most famous one was on a sawhorse, bent over, ass in the air, and able to wave and go, hey, what's up? And show this area, which is probably the money maker. Do you mind? He's getting grossed out. Models? Ignore him. We know that Jacob came to your club and did a set at your show that night, right before he came over to our party. Oh, I do remember. His whole set was about his obsessed roommate that wouldn't leave him alone, and he was starting to get scared to go home. No, it's as funny as it sounds. Roommate. Are you sure, not stalkery boss? No, it's definitely his roommate. Ah, uh, Toddy! Excuse me. Food? Bear drama. Looks like the fur is gonna fly tonight. See ya. Great show. Thank you. Girls. And I, I don't understand because in the gay community, you know, a big burly, hairy, muscular man is called a bear, and in the lesbian community, a big burly. A uh, muscular, hairy woman is called a lesbian. So, uh, I know that's awesome. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. That's right. That's right. Hold it. Hold it. I don't need to do yoga. What's happening? Nelson, honey, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. Really? I think you should focus on the fact that his boyfriend was stalking Jacob. <sighs> oh, sorry. Seriously, I think we need to call Detective Winters and give him this information. Ooh, plus I need a date for the Glad Awards on the 26th. <laughs> you think that detective has a crush on you and I'm the deluded one for thinking that my boyfriend isn't a vicious killer? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well. Okay, maybe Chad was infatuated with, with Wood's body 15 years ago, but I think he sees me as the whole package. I have a big cock, too. Oh, my God. Honestly, I, I, I could actually see the two of us maybe settling down someday. <laughs> settling down? 
Oh, you're going to settle down. Is that the deal? What, what are you going to buy a house with them and move to the valley? Is that it? <laughs> yeah, right, Reggie. No, you're not going to settle down. No, what you're going to do is you're going to travel the globe and you're going to sleep with every big, hot, hairy, gay bear you can find. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you uh, cruise the United Nations? It'll save you money on plane fare. <laughs> you don't want to settle down and you're not looking for love, okay? You're looking for dick. Get real. Okay. Okay, Nelson, you want to get real? Let's get real with you. You're a graying, middle-aged, gay guy, still trying to make it in the most youth-obsessed industry in the world. You always make such a huge event out of when you don't get cast for something, when, honestly, it would be a huge event if you did actually get cast in something. You did not just say that to me. You know what? You quit it, guys! I'm fucking sick of this shit! Oh my god, did he just say shit? Yeah, I think he's really mad. Yeah, you're damn right I am! Alright? You guys are always ganging up on me and acting like I'm stupid all the time. Well, guess what? At least I'm smart enough to know that we all love each other. Alright? We need to stick together in times like these. Especially when one of us might be in danger because he's dating a murderer. Oh my god, we're back to that again? I can't believe you two! I'm crazy about that guy, and you know what? It hurts my feelings that you don't trust me enough to know if somebody's taking advantage of me or, or lying to me. You know what? Todd is a good guy, and I don't think he killed anybody. What about Jacob's stand-up act? That doesn't prove anything. Performers make crap up all the time to get laughs. Come on, Nelson. How much more proof do you need? You know what, Reggie? You get to have sex with all of these really gorgeous men all the time. And then now I finally meet somebody that's beautiful and amazing and I'm crazy about him. And you won't even give me that. Do you always have to win, huh? Is that the deal? Do you, do you always have to get the guy? Why won't you just give me this? Nelson, you know that's not true. You know, I can't even be around you guys right now. Where are you going? Nelson, wouldn't I feel terrible about how we left things at Akbar last night? We love you, we miss you, we want you to come home. We're a little worried we haven't heard from you, so please call, okay? We miss you. Anything? No, I mean his suitcase is missing and his underwear drawer is empty. Oh my god, do you think he moved out? It's his house. So probably not. No. Yeah. phone to see if we had any messages? There was only one message, but I couldn't understand the guy. I mean, he had a really thick accent. Oh, that's Cyril. He's been pushing that timeshare of his in Palm Springs because he's broke. Oh. Wait a minute, maybe that's where Nelson went. Yeah. Okay, you answer that. I'll call Cyril. Okay. Oh, hey, Detective Winters. You must be here for Reggie. I'll go get him. No, 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 no. Please, don't let him know I'm here. He makes me very uncomfortable. I need to talk to you. Could you come out for a okay. second? So I uh, probably have a calendar or something in there if you want me to sign. As tempting as that is, I'm here about Todd Stevens. Oh, hot toddy? Yes, we found some very interesting emails on Jacob's computer sent from Todd's account. What kind of emails? Disturbing ones. I threatened to kill him if he didn't take his love for him seriously. Do you know where I can find him? I don't have a clue. I know, but do you know where I can find Todd Stevens? Oh, you mean you don't, you don't know where he is? Sorry. Here, take my card in case anything comes up. Anything? Anything pertaining to the case. Okay. Well, we can relax. Cyril said he rented the condo to Hot Toddy and Nelson for the weekend, so we know where they are. You know, I'm actually beginning to understand what Cyril says. I'm calling the police. I should probably get going anyway. Why would he want to talk to the police? And just my boyfriend. Did you tell this to the police? Uh, no, I haven't actually called them back yet. 
kind of emails. He's threatening to kill him if he didn't take his love for him seriously. Come on, you guys. We all have to be thinking the same thing. Uh, hot toddy. Hot toddy. Hot toddy. Todd Stevens. Hot toddy. Hot toddy. Hot toddy. Todd Stevens. Who's at the door? Detective Winners. Why didn't you come get me? You know he was here to see me. <gasps> Hot Toddy, he's the killer. What are you talking about? <sighs> we gotta go to Palm Springs. No, 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 we gotta stop the detective. What, what? Winner, Detective Winners! Detective Winners, stop! Wait, 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 Oh my God, I could have sworn he saw me. We made eye contact and everything. Why would he stop? Oh, forget him, all right? The way I drive, we'll get there faster than the cops. Give Nelson a try again. Damn it, I got his voicemail. Should I leave a message? Start the car! No, 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 no. Let me try calling him, all right? Sometimes he screens your calls because he doesn't want to have to talk to you. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> remember, when you get him on the line, remember to stay calm. Todd could be with him, and we don't want Nelson panicking. Absolutely. We don't want to tip off Todd. Right. Okay. Hi, this is Nelson. Oh, oh, got his machine, too. I'm probably busy with my hot boyfriend. Jealous. Okay, hey, Nelson, it's... It's wood. When you hear this message, I want you to stay calm. Under no circumstances should you react to this message, especially if Todd is with you, okay? Detective Winters has confirmed it. Todd is- The Christ, man, you get the hell out of there and save your life! You're a fucking dead man, you're gonna slit your throat! Oh my God! You call that trying to be calm? I I'm sorry, we just have to get to Nelson. Where are we going exactly? Palm Springs. I know that you imbecile. Palm Springs is a huge city in the desert. Do we have an address? Should I call Cyril again? No, 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 wait a minute. I remember seeing his address on a card he had sent me. It was an invitation for a sex party back in April. <sighs> sex party? Why wasn't I invited? Uh, he wanted tops. So why were you invited? God. I have made out with Cyril numerous times. He had a sex party and didn't invite me. Look, it's not important, all right? Look, I could use my photogenic memory and remember the address, just... Okay, well, what is it? Okay. Who has a sex party and doesn't invite me? I mean, unbelievable. Got it, let's go. You haven't answered my question. Keep trying, keep trying. This is heaven. Mm -hmm. I never want to leave. I'm never letting you go either. Ooh, music to my ears. Mm -hmm. bike ride or take a hike? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I know you're only suggesting that for my benefit, uh, which is sweet, but uh, I want to do what you want to do today, which I imagine is get takeout and watch All About Eve again. You are too good to me. <laughs> mm. Can I use your laptop to order up a meat lover's pizza? No. Okay. I got my own meat lover right here. But pizza sounds good too. I'm gonna grab a shower uh, in the meantime. So, uh, I'll go looking through my inbox looking for any ex-boyfriends. <laughs> Don't be silly. You know, I never do that. Uh-huh. All right, Palm Springs pizza. Oh, boyfriends, huh? Well, it won't hurt just to check the scent emails, hmm?
Wood and Reggie tell them that the guy I'm dating is a killer. Hiding from me? No. Why would you say that? What are you doing? They won't deliver. I have to go get it. Well, I'll go with you. No, 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 no. You're all wet, and it'll take you too long to get dressed, and I need pepperoni now. Okay. It don't take too long. so I can go with you. Uh, no, you can't. A and stop suffocating me. Why can't you give me a minute to myself, Mr. Clingy? What are you doing with my laptop? Yeah, yeah, I have your laptop. And I saw the emails, Todd. The ones you sent to Jacob, these. What? The ones where you were professing your undying love for him, and he told you to go away, but you, then you got all angry and hostile and crazy. Uh, I didn't write those. I've never seen those before, I swear to God. They're on your computer. I don't know how they got there. It all makes sense now. You and Jacob were both at my birthday party. And you followed him into the bathroom, didn't you? And you wanted to have sex with him. What? But he rejected you, and you couldn't take that, could you? So you decided to get your revenge. Oh, Nelson, that's not how it happened. You got this all wrong. Stay back! He's been trying to have sex with me for months. I told him it wasn't like that, we were just friends, but he wouldn't listen. Yeah? Yeah, but why didn't you tell that to the police? Because I'm no fucking angel, Nelson. I have a record. I've been arrested twice for aggravated assault. I don't want to tell you this. I don't want to change the way you felt about me. But if the cops showed up and I was there the night he died, and there was this unrequited crush that he had on me or something, what was I supposed to do? All figures were to point to me being the killer. You figured out a way to put the poison on Jacob's martini glass so that when I served it to him, all it took was one sip. One sip and he was dead in the bathtub. Look, that's not how I, you're jumping to conclusions. You got don't touch me. Look, you're not thinking clearly. Enjoy the episode. Poison Jacob, it was him. I just killed him. He was just using me because he didn't want us to get too close to the truth. What are you doing here? Your friends call her old word, sick about you, and I told you were fine, but I figured I'd come out and check up on myself. What? It doesn't matter. So it was Todd. I live with a guy for two years, and it's like you don't even know him. Did you? Just say that you lived with Ian Jacob? Uh, just for a little while, until they kicked me out. Jacob didn't feel comfortable having me around anymore. Go figure. Oh my god! It was you! You were the one who poisoned Jacob! The third roommate! Don't go, Nelson. You paid for the condo for the entire weekend. enjoyed the timeshare because your time is running out. Why are you talking normal? Let's just say I had to get out of San Francisco in a hurry and I needed to reinvent myself. What are you talking about? Yeah. In Boston, I was Southern. And in Chicago, I was Quebecois. Why do you have to keep changing your identity? Because I'm a serial killer. Oh, God, I knew it. Oh, God. I thought Wood was the time. 
So you finally got it all figured out now, Nelson? Yeah, I do. Reggie told me you didn't have a computer. Yeah, he told me that. So the only way you could have reached Jacob was through email. Of course I had Todd's account. We shared a room. I knew his password. And the cops never even thought to question you, right? Because they didn't even know you lived with him. Why would they question you? And Jacob's dead, and Todd, poor Todd, he was avoiding them. It all makes sense now. You were in love with Jacob, but he only had eyes for Todd. I had it all wrong. Jacob must have followed Todd to the bathroom to try and have sex with him, but Todd turned him down, didn't he? Yeah, Jacob was devastated. And I was there to help pick up the pieces. Yeah, but no matter how hard you tried, Jacob was never going to love you. And if I couldn't have him, nobody would. Like I told Reggie, Jacob and I shared everything, even chapstick. And that's how I poisoned him. Chapstick. It was never in his martini at all. The poison was on the glass from Jacob's lips. And that's why you had to break into our house and retrieve it before he turned it over to the police. <sighs> how did you find out about the glass? I had access to Todd's email. I know everything, dumbass. What's that? It stops the heart. And with your high cholesterol, blood pressure, who will question it? Dr. Harvey Rosenblatt will. Yeah, my, uh, my triglyceride numbers went down 50 points at my last physical. Maybe. But um, even a normal heart would feel the stress of killing your lover in self-defense after you find out he's a murderer. Um, oh. Let's go for a little walk. Don't oh, kill me. I worked so hard to get those numbers back. Please don't kill me. I'll get you a roll on the Disney Channel show. Oh, wait, we don't have the code to get in. Oh, I know. It's 7912. Cyril told me in case I wanted to come visit. How did you remember? I'm the one with the photogenic mind. Because it just happens to be the dick sizes of my last three boyfriends. Come on, come on, hurry! Do you still have 12 numbers? No, we just have friends here on Facebook. Bye. He must be here. Uh, whose car is this? Oh, that's Cyril. We made out in it last week. Nelson! Check upstairs. I'll look down here. Jacob and Cyril? Mm -hmm. 
Think about it. Think of the devastating effects this will have on the Hollywood entertainment community. You'll be reviled for killing a beloved celebrity. A beloved celebrity? Nelson, honestly, I think Hollywood will survive without you. Besides, they'll always have the fat guy from Lost. Oh, hell no. <gasps> oh, help me! Help me! Help me! That's it, Nelson. Catch your heart rate up. All the more convincing to the coroner. So they have to be on foot. How are we gonna find them? Wait, I know. Nelson has a profile on Growler. If he's got his phone on, we can track him by proximity. Oh, brilliant. Mm, I don't see his profile. Oh, wait! He took down his profile when he started dating Hot Toddy. It's kind of sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's about to get him killed. I told him he was moving too fast. Wait a minute. Cyril's got a profile on here. And he's only 0.2 miles away. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, this way, this way! Okay, it says now that he's only 0 .01 mile away. Which way do we go? Ooh. Let's go that way. Maybe uh, he took him to Cathedral City Boys Club. He wants to murder him, not suck his dick in the sauna. Come on. It's obvious. He's going to the desert. I'm really starting to like this guy. Well, it's not totally obvious. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish this. No. Uh. Oh, by the way, Nelson, no. you will live on. Because my next stop is Boise, Ida. And my next persona is Nelson, the self deluded theater queen. No! Ah. Ready for your final curtain call? I'm calling the police. I can't get any service. <laughs> can't believe I hit you over the head with your laptop. <laughs> I know. It's okay. If I had seen those emails, I probably would have done the same thing, too. Yeah, you know, I feel horrible. I can't believe I let myself think you were guilty. You know what? I gotta be honest. The reason I think I let myself think that you were guilty is because... What's a guy like you doing with a guy like me? Hey, come on. Now look, I think you are an incredible sense. And I've been with plenty of muscle bears and gym bunnies and guys with 6% body fat or whatever, but you know what, it's just... It all looks nice on the outside, but it's just covering up a big mess on the inside. And with you, I get both. I get beautiful inside and out. That makes me very lucky. And I'm smart enough to know that that's the sort of thing that you hang on to. So. did say they made the cutest couple. What? No, you didn't. You were like, he's a... <laughs> Todd, let me be the first to apologize on behalf of Wood, who refused to believe in you. Uh, you know what, guys? No sweat. I'm just looking out for your friend. It makes you kings in my book. So now, who wants martinis? Me, please. You guys aren't checking out my ass, are you? No. No. I was. Well, I was. Listen, guys. I feel like I should say something. You don't have to say anything. No, no, I want to. I, uh, I want to thank you for saving my life. Well, I love you. And I'd be lost without you, too. You guys! Don't say oh, it! Bear hugs! Oh, you said it! You right. said it! Oh, God! Okay, all right. I'm swallowing here. Yeah, okay. 
Good.